In this lecture, we will see uh, how we can place tables, chairs, water closets in this plan. So obviously, in order to do that, you have to use uh, this component. Okay. So if you click on this drop down button, you can clearly see that right now we have two options. Uh, the option one is a place a component. So here you will get uh, some predefined template of the components that you can easily uh, place in your plan. And the second one is a model in place. So in that case, you have to create your own uh, component in order to place these in this plan. So in this lecture, we will use uh, this place a component. So if you want to place any kind of component like a table chairs, uh, something like that, in order to uh, that, you have to just simply click on place a component. After that, you will get a window like this. So here you let's say you are not interested in this and table. So you want to uh, load something more. In that case, you can just simply go and click on this load family. And you can clearly see that we have these things. Uh, so I will go to US. And I will go to plumbing. Okay, so I just double click on that one. Let's go to architectural and fixtures. And after that, you will get this, uh, this water closet. So you have to just simply double click on that. And let's say you, I want to use this domestic one. So I can just simply select on that 2D. You can use this one for 2D or you can see which one is looking better. So for example, let's say I will just simply go with this one. I'll, I can just simply click on open here. And after that, you will get uh, this water closet say here. So I, I can just simply zoom in, in this region. And I will place this water closet here just like this one. So you can see that we have placed the water closets uh, as uh, so this was a component for that. Let me press escape and let me go to 3D view to give you a better view for this. How this one is looking. You can see that we have placed uh, that water closet here. Okay. So let me change this to realistic. Now you can see how this one is looking in the realistic view and if you look at this window obviously you can just simply select on that and you can just uh, simply drag this one on the upper side okay you can see the sill height is this one from here you can actually control the sill height so I can make this one 1.5 let's make this one 1.5 and you can see that we have successfully shift this one on the upper side you can see now this one is looking good and this one is attached to that region. Obviously you can uh, control uh, the dimension of this window as well if you like. So now uh, let's try to fit some other components. So for that obviously you have to go to level of one. You can do the same thing in the 3D view as well but I will suggest you to keep this thing in the plan view so that you can have a better understanding of that. From here you can see you can control the horizontal distance as well. So now what I will do is I will again uh, go to components here. Okay, let's go to architectural component and then I will just simply go and click on load family this time. Simply go back and go back. So basically right now I'm interested in uh, furniture. So let's look for furniture. There it is. And here in the furniture, you can see that you have your table. So you, you can just simply click on that. And here you'll get a bunch of different options for the tables. You can see. You can use any of this table. You can use this settings. You can see. And you can also use the storage. So let's say you want to use any kind of drawer or this is storage. You can see these things. So you can obviously put these things in your uh, in this region as well. So what I will do, I'll just simply select on open. And after that, you can see uh, that I have imported this one. I'm in entertainment center. I can just uh, rotate it with the help of a space bar. And I can place it wherever I want. So let's say I want to place it in this region. I can just simply select on that. If I want to place this one on this region, I can simply place on that. And if I want to place the same thing in this region, I have to use space and then I have to again click on this, this one. Like that, you can place these components. And if you want to get a view of this, uh, you can just simply go to 3D view. And you can see that how good this one is looking. You can see 
So in this way, you can use uh, these kinds of components. You can place these kinds of component. Obviously, you can load more component from here as well. You can see that right now we are in storage. We can just simply go to tables. And you can get these kinds of tables if you want. Okay, you can just use this desk. Let me click on open. And let me just simply click on that. So you can see that this is the table M desk. You can just simply select on that. And from here, you have to actually choose the dimensions for that table. Let me simply select on that. Let me show you, you can actually do the th same thing in the 3D view as well. But I will suggest you to use uh, these in the 2D plan so that you can have a better view. So I can just simply select on that. I can place a table here. I can just place a table here. Okay, you can see. Now let's have a look in the 3D view. You can see how this one is looking in the 3D view. And obviously you have to load the chair as well for the settings. So you can just simply go back. You can go to settings. And here you can see that what kind of chair you want. Uh, let's let me use this chair. Let me just simply select on open. Let's go to 3D view. And you can use uh, space bar to rotate it like this. And I, I'm going to place this one here. Okay, just like this one if you want. Okay, so obviously, uh, if you want to move this one on this side, you can do that one, do do that thing as well. Now you can just simply select this one, this component here, and you can drag it here. And now this one is looking much better. So like that, you can place these kinds of things, these kinds of arrangement you can do, and you can see here actually how this, how these, how these things are looking. You can see here. So like that, you can go ahead and uh, you can place the chair as uh, you like and you can see uh, you can there is a water closet and you can see all these things here. So this is the end of this lecture and you know how to use the component in Revit.